Yo, what's going on, kings and queens? It's your boy Chaz Jackson coming back to you once again, representing GNG Gift and the Gift. Hey, just want to take the time to tell you thank you for giving me your eyes and your ears once again as we get ready to dive deep in a new topic, a Pacific verse this afternoon. It's been dwelling on my heart, wanting to share it with you guys today. We're going to be looking in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 3, specifically. And this verse says, Let us consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men so that we do not grow weary and lose heart. Do not grow weary and lose heart. You know, and this author was referring to Christ himself in the Bible. Hebrews 12, verse 3. And what's interesting about this verse is when you think about Christ himself, he lived a perfect life, right? And throughout that perfect life, he was around unperfect people. You know, he withstood a lot of opposition. He withstood a lot of people that didn't like him. A lot of people that wanted him to fail. A lot of people that did not believe in what he uh, felt that was true. Did not believe in his teachings. Did not believe that he was king. You know, they didn't like his swagger. They didn't like his confidence. You know, his family, his community even tried to kill him at one point. You know, he was tempted uh, multiple times throughout his life even though he lived a short life for 33 years, but throughout his three years, man, he overcame a lot of opposition, right? He withstood a lot of trials and tribulations and kept a sober mind doing it. And I just think that is so powerful. I think that is a, a trademark aspect to look at as a true hero. To me, Christ is a true hero. You know, and for us to consider him and consider his life, that should make us not be weary, meaning tired or losing heart on our purpose, on our gifts, on our talents. Whenever we feel like we're at a stopping point and we're not progressing, we should keep fighting because Christ lived a perfect life living in the environment that we live in today. And again, you know, obviously technology wise, it's a lot more advanced, but he went through all the temptations that us as human beings went through and he lived a perfect life. He completed his purpose. He said at the end of his time, it is finished. He finished his purpose. And I challenge each and every one of you to keep striving. Do not become weary. Do not lose heart. You know, let's look at Christ as that mark key. We can overcome anything through him who strengthens us. All right, stay up with GNG. More videos coming soon. Peace.